So I'm just cutting my, hey, I don't know if I can see. I think my camera went dead, oh no. No, it didn't. So I'm grabbing all the pieces that has to be cut on the fold. I've already cut my pink out. And I'm going to cut a bigger piece because I'm going to try to embroidery her initial on the front of it. Now this goes in here like this, but they have you cut it out. So I'm not going to try to tape it back in there. And I need two of these. And what else is not cut on the fold? Fold, fold, fold. So I'm just going to cut this out and then do my folding. I just kind of wanted you to see some of the process of me making my granddaughter her Christmas present. I kind of want her to be able to go back and see what her granny made her too. And I'll take you over when I start putting my interfacing or my, yeah, interfacing on my cotton pieces of fabric. And I don't know, I, I got to cut it out, so I might as well do it. See how good I can do it. I have a smaller blade. I should have it over here, but I don't. That worked pretty good. Okay, got this one done. Set that over there. This I need two of these. if I can't just fold it like this and get two of them cut out. Because I'm trying my to keep my length as much as possible. There we go. I might even try to do some piping on this. This bag calls for piping as optional. So I might, before I try to assemble, see if I can manage that. Oh, come on, sure. My cutting isn't the best. That's why everything doesn't line up perfect for me. Thank goodness I'm not a perfect person. All right. Two of the gussets cut out. Set that over. Over there. Save all these pieces right there so I can uh, practice getting my tension right. These can go this way. Because I need enough for a strap. I didn't realize bag making was as expensive expensive as it is. It is. So here's one. Fold. Two fold. Oh, this is the one I want to get initial on. So I might have to save that. Because I just want to cut a square out and then, let's not waste, 
and then cut it out after I embroidery on it. And is that it? That's it, besides that one. All right. Let's see how we go here. I have a wiggly table. Wiggle, wiggle. To this one. I'll take you over to the ironing board and let you see me fuse my cotton pieces down with the interfacing and uh, I'll show you how I'm going to embroidery on this but I'm just going to take a big piece um, of fabric and embroidery then try to cut it out so all right I'll be back okay, I'm going to fuse the interfacing onto my lining pieces and I try to get them all lined up the best I can. Let's see what else I can get on here. This is another folded piece. And those two will have to go by themselves. So I'm going to press it to get all the wrinkles out. And interfacing is not cheap, so I tried to get them as close as possible. And then I just lay this on top. The glue side down. And come on, come on. Goes down a little ways. All right. Then I'll get my scissors. Then I just cut around them and then I'll press it again from the front side.
after I trim it so this gunk doesn't get on my iron. I lay all my pieces out and I iron them from the front as well. Get that glue to really stick to that fabric. Because I've had it lifted up before. And that was not good. And now I'm going to let them cool. Make sure they all, everything's stuck. And uh, move on. I am just going to see what it, how it embroideries on a piece of fabric or a piece of vinyl before I go and uh, use my real vinyl. So let me get this loaded up and we'll put it on the machine and see how it turns out. So I am putting a tear away on my hoop, but I am going to a cutaway on the vinyl itself. See how that irons on there. Turn it over, get the shiny part down. Don't want to iron all of it on there. And get a pressing cloth. Too bad, not too bad. Give me some spray. Spray her down there. See if that'll stay. I don't need that much. That won't stay. All right. Put her under my machine. What do you think? I think it turned out beautiful. But uh, I think that looks great. Okay, so I got the first part done. I got everything cut out. Um, the accent pieces, the lining, except for I'm going to do the embroidery on this piece. So I still have this to cut out. Uh, I want to practice on doing some piping before I start assembling things together. But I got it all cut out. I'll get my hardware all round up that I'm going to use. And um, we'll go on to the next step. I will just kind of let you see me do some of the steps that I'm going to do. This is just showing you how a beginner does a bag. All right, my attempt at piping. I gotta practice before I try to do it on the purse. But uh, it's crinkly. I'm not sure if I should attempt it. But maybe it's supposed to be crinkly in the corners. I clipped the corners. So, so there's my first attempt at uh, piping. Oh, 
Okay, I marked the center and I'm going to put this double-sided tape right down the center. And then I'm going to put my cording, hope it's the right size, right on top of that double-sided tape to hold it in place. And then I fold it over like that. But I think I'm going to use double-sided tape again to hold it once I fold it over to keep it in place for me. Get that snug. Oh, I already got it messed up. Maybe I should start in the center. Let's see. And work my way out. All right, so I'm gonna, I need two pieces of this. So I'm gonna make the other one just like I did this one. Not too bad. Okay, I will be back when I do. I'm gonna try my hand at making a enclosed uh, connector. I'm gonna see what I can do. So I'm making my connector now and hope I got the right size I made it a lot longer than what I needed but mm. I hope I just Hope I cut it out the right size. So I'll have to sew it. I have black on my machine right now, and uh, I'm gonna have to switch it over to pink because I'm gonna be using pink on this bag. Let's see if that fits my ring. Ooh, it does, I got it right. So I got that part right. So I'm gonna cut a hole right here and I'm going to slide this end, but I thought I would show you. This is my first attempt, so if I make a mistake, I don't think my granddaughter's going to kill her granny, but uh, I'm trying to make her bag real special. So let me get my sewing machine thread mm -hmm. threaded in pink connector done. I'm going to put it on my ring here. That's fine. So, so I'm going to, I made a line where I want my, where the pattern said to put my connector. And now I'm going to cut it just a little bit longer than my connector. So see, I cut a hole in it. And this is scary. So let's see. Might have to do it just a little longer. Nope, that looks like it fits. 
and I've got probably two inches. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to my sewing machine so I sewed right above the black part so it's connected. So now I'm going to put my connector on there and I am going to tuck this end into that hole and get her in there. So now I'm going to go sew on the back end of it at about an eighth of an inch. And I might need a zipper foot for this, so I might have to go to my other machine. You know, and I could sew it just like this, but I want that raw edge to be uh, flipped over, so that's why I'm going to sew it from this, this side right here because I want, I want to catch that raw edge. So let me go get that done and I'll be right back. Here's what it looks like. I kind of overdid my stitch, but not too bad. But uh, I'm going to put a rivet right there. So this will hold that strap in place. So I will do that and I'll show you. And then I'm going to go do my second one because I'm pleased with that. I'm going to cut some of this off. I don't need that much. But I wanted to see if I could do that. So this is how it's going to look. Here's my guess, uh, my connectors. I enclosed them in my bag. So and then I put rivets in there. And this is my first time trying it. So I don't think I'm I did too shabby. I'm real happy with myself. And there they are at the back with the rivets to help them tighter. Now I'm, I will let you go. Has anyone told you you're special today? If not, let me be the first because you are in God's eyes. So go out and have a great day. Go do something creative, but whatever you do, do it in the name of the Lord and your blessings will always come back to you. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye everyone.